Hi, in this video we will learn how to build a dashboard like this one using data coming from a REST API with JSON information from SpaceX uh, launches. You can follow the guide going to the examples tab on a new card and following the SpaceX HTTP API chart um, guide. You can also try it yourself by going to app.instadio.com and clicking try it now. We're going to turn off the lights first and we're going to select the HTTP source. The default configuration has all the details you need, so you just click apply. The results are pretty big, there's a lot of information there, but we are going to grab some of the fields we need into the basket, which is a place you can drop things and use them later. We're going to drag the launch year field into the basket. And there are many fields for each uh, launch, so there is some pagination. I'm going to go to the second page. I'm going to grab the site name long, also the rocket name, and I'm going to collapse this and I'm going to look for launch success. We have all the information we need. Let's um, collapse this because it's pretty big. So we are going to transform this into a table because it's a list of uh, JSON records, but we want to transform it into a table. So I'm going to drag the items from the basket into uh, a select query. And it was, it's going to transform it into a table, but just with the first item, because we dragged uh, all the fields from the first item in the list. What we need to do is to click the zero and select the alternative, which is zero to infinity, which means all the items. We are going to do that for all the inputs. And then we are going to rename them to shorter, more descriptive um, names. Notice that the launch year is uh, of uh, type text. We may want to transform it into uh, a number. So we are going to create a calculated field. We are going to call it year. And we are going to go to the formulas and search for two number. And then we are going to drag the launch year and drop it into the text parameter. And we're going to drag the year into the query and remove the launch year. So now we have it as a number. Also, um, I'm going to, uh, let's see if I can show it here. There are three values for launch success, true, false. And it seems that at the beginning is what it, it was not being set, so it's not set. We want to transform it into uh, only true or false. So what, what we are going to do is to create a new calculated field, call it uh, success, question mark. And what we are going to do is uh, add, go to the logic section, select the if uh, expression, and we are going to say that if launch success, then true, and if not, false. And now we are going to drag the success and remove the intermediary launch success. Now if we if we drag it and if we sort it we see that there's only true and false. With this information we can create all our charts but first we want to count some things and we are going to count uh, launches by year by rocket and also launches by year by site. So we are going to use a uh, group by and we are going to count rocket launches so count rockets. There were 111 uh, launches in total by rocket. So this is by rocket and by year. We are going to, let's control double click to get a better title for that. And let's create a group by for uh, the same, but for sites. So let's count sites by site by year. Now let's create a chart. I'm going to create a chart showing chart site count by site by year. And we're going to select stacked. But uh, we have this line chart, line area chart. So I'm going to go to the chart settings. I'm going to select the chart type uh, line and draw area. I'm going to also play a little bit with margins. To get all the data we need and yeah, I'm going to sort by year. 
otherwise the chart will look a little bit weird and let's control all click here to get a better title we are going to need it later when we are um, building the, the dashboard so we are going to do the same for a launch by a rocket count so we are going to chart rocket count by rocket by year we're going to also sort this by year and we are going to leave it um, and we are going to select also stacked but we are going to leave it uh, just stacked let's improve the margins a little bit we have um, two of the three charts um, the other one is the one that shows a uh, success count and failure count with uh, colors and icons for that we're going to go back to our, our table and what we are going to do is we're going to group by success so we are going to count success by success so we have 103 true and 8 false with this information we can create a chart so we're going to chart success count by success which will be success type in a sense we're going to select and uh, like we could use a bar chart we could use a pie chart but we are going to use something different a grid it's showing this uh, the number and false and true we're going to improve it a little bit first making the size of the number a little bit bigger and the size of the label also but we want to show a uh, color so uh, red for false and green for true so here there's the middle color and i'm going to click it and i'm going to add an if and an if um, success then uh, green else then red they are not exactly the same colors but it's the idea and at uh, the bottom instead of the saying false or true we want to change that so i'm going to drag this to reuse it to the bottom value and if success then we're going to go to the emoji section and i'm going to search for rocket and for failure boom and now we have the information we want but we want it vertical so i'm going to configure it to have only one column and this should be enough maybe the size has to change a little bit let's give it a better name and the last one is the spacex logo for that i'm going to create um, a resource card and i'm going to click here and select uh, the spacex logo from my computer and now we can do the dashboard so i'm going to collapse everything and i'm going to create the layout somewhere over here I'm going to show the success and failure here. It's going to take two. And we're going to hide the title. I'm going to remove the basket. The logo is going to go over here. The side count is going to go over here, if I remember correctly. And the other one is going to go here. We can hide the titles or we can give it better titles. Both should work. And now that we are ready, if we had an account, we can share it and get a link like this one. But since we are in a trial, we're going to just set it to read only to see how it looks. And it should look pretty much the same. I forgot to hide. I, I used the, the long name for, for launch sites, which looks much better than the other one. But other than that, it's the same dashboard. So this was how to create a dashboard with SpaceX launch information coming from a REST API. And uh, also it introduced the resource card and the, the grid layout. So if you have any questions, just comment here on the YouTube video or contact us on social media. Bye.